What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome to part two of the Dream Diary uh, post series. I guess you could say a little series of po um, videos. Don't know why I'm saying posts, where I show you how to keep a dream journal, keep a dream diary, uh, and how it can help you lucid dream. Now, this part, this is part two. This is going to be explaining uh, a bit more about what you can expect when you start keeping a dream diary. What will happen? Um, why it will happen and what sort of things you should be writing down. It's not just a case of writing like the dream, believe it or not. There's actually some things that you should be doing uh, which will just make things a bit easier for you. Uh, before we go any further, please do not judge this little bit of hair here that's just sort of flapping around. I came out of the shower and it just uh, decided to just go crazy. So um, let's move on from that. Now, when you first start keeping a dream diary, okay, what you're going to notice is that within the first week or two, you, like I said in the first video, find it difficult to remember things, okay? This is normal. Um, and as time goes by, what you'll notice is that every day that goes by that you're writing your dreams down, or at least trying to, okay, um, you will remember more and more of the dream, okay? Uh, and the reason for this is because your brain isn't used to remembering dreams, uh, but then when you train it to do something, when you train it to remember your dreams, you slowly start actually getting better at it, believe it or not. I mean, you know... Come on, guys, it's like, it's like anything. If you practice it, you get better at it, right? Uh, so, yeah, each day you'll notice that you can remember slightly more, more detail, more depth, more uh, context. You know, you remember things like the feelings, the, the sights, the smells. Like, you'll start to involve more senses than just, I was dreaming about a boat or I was in a field. Okay, you'll start to remember lots of intricate details eventually, after a few weeks. Uh, not immediately, but you can expect that, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what you're aiming for. You're aiming to remember about two to three dreams per night. Uh, now, don't be sort of put off by this. You'll, you won't do that at the first. If you're a beginner, you'll probably remember like bits of one if you're lucky. Okay, but don't worry about it. You will eventually be able to remember like two or three dreams per night in detail uh, and identify things like dream signs, your emotions, the, the, the themes running through your dreams. Okay, the common recurring themes, because there are some, um, and a few other things as well, which we'll get into in another video. Uh, so I'd just like to give you uh, a bit of a rundown on what you should include in the, in, in the entries. So when you write down a dream journal entry, uh, and I haven't got an example for you at the moment because I've actually lost my, uh, my main dream diary, but it's, it's not a problem. I'll, I'll start another one and in the next video I'll show you that. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to put the date at the top, uh, so, the, so the date of the day where you went to sleep, or the next day, it doesn't really matter, but put the date at the top uh, and write down... Firstly, at the at the beginning of the entry, you want to write down the details of the setup. Okay, so what I mean what I mean by the setup uh, is that that day before you went to sleep and had the dream, uh, what what was the basic gist of the day? Okay, I'm I'm talking about did you go anywhere new? Did you exercise more than you usually do? Did you eat more or less than you usually do? Did you drink enough water? Did you drink alcohol? Did you take any drugs? Did you take any sort of supplements? That's important, okay? Uh, and you need to write down just at the entry, it doesn't have to be a lot of information, but just a few key words like, I took this supplement today, or I drank so-and-so glasses of water, okay? Or I tried uh, this meditation technique, just little key words, things that you think would influence the dream, okay? And use a bit of common sense here, what you think might influence the dream. Uh, but generally speaking, it's anything that's going to be changing your awareness in the waking day. So in meditation, uh, going to new places, anything you ingest that's different to what you normally ingest, um, or, or more or less to what you normally ingest, food, drink, uh, little things like that. So you're just going to write these down at the start of the entry. And then when you write, so, so that's like the, the intro, you can like draw a little line under that, or put it in brackets, whatever you want to do. Then you will write the actual dream entry. Now, when I do this, what I do is I write down, at the very top, I write three or four, or maybe three to five keywords. So I'll say, like, if it's in a field, I'll put field, winter, zombies, uh, machine guns, for example, right? Okay, and so that will, like, summarize the dream for me. So if I get distracted or if someone calls me or whatever it is, you know, um, I can always go back to those keywords and think, and it reminds me of the whole dream. So I'm not going to forget everything. Okay, so you want to put these keywords at the, at the start, and then you want to use them as subheadings. So you want to just build out the dream as if you were writing an article, but you don't have to write that much. Okay, um, 
so in that example, you would write, you know, I had a dream I was in a field, um, and so and so, write down whatever you can remember, okay? Now, I'm not going to give you too much more example on that because it's going to vary depending on how long you've been doing it, how much you'll be able to remember. So for the beginners, you might just remember, I was dreaming in a field, and that's fine. Uh, you still need to write the setup, because that does help eventually, um, and you still need to write that, even if it's just a sentence. Like like I said in the first video, even if you just write, no dreams recalled, okay, that's better than nothing. And it does train your mind eventually to learn how to remember dreams. That's how it works. Um, so, yeah, so you have that. And then when you finish writing the dream, no matter how much you wrote, um, it works better with longer dreams or like at least, I don't know, at least like average length dreams. You need to have something there, right? Mm. But you want to go back through it and you want to highlight all the important parts. So the locations, the events, what were you doing? Where were you? Uh, and then anything else important that you think might be relevant. Like say if you found a special key uh, and in the dream you got some sort of feeling or vibe that this key was important, then highlight the key. Uh, and then when you look back at the dreams, you'll be able to see these things and you'll be able to link them all up. And what actually happens is you notice links between dreams that might have happened months ago that really tell you things about, like, for example, you might be at a new job in waking life, right? And you'll have a dream that night, which will link up perfectly to a dream you might have had months ago. Um, and it really, it really is, it does get very interesting. And, you know, I could talk about dream interpretation and that stuff. I could talk about it for hours, but I'm not going to because you guys are probably getting bored. It's getting to about six minutes. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, you can actually go ahead and follow along and start doing this. Um, I'm not sure how many of these videos I'm going to make, but I'm going to go into a lot more detail about Dream Diaries the more we get into the series. So this is part two. Explains why you need to keep them, how to keep them, what you should write down. So go ahead and start doing this if you want to follow along, or if you're a superstar, you are already doing it anyway, so that's fine. Uh, this will still be helpful for you, hopefully. Um, yeah, and that's cool. That's it. So if you're new around here, subscribe, please. And I'll see you in the next video. What I've got planned for the next month, okay, just so you know, is I might be doing um, like a, a sleep deprivation challenge. Uh, this is kind of inspired by Giz Edwards. I saw him uh, attempt this on his, on his YouTube channel. Um, and I thought it might be a cool idea just to vlog the, the whole experience, see what happens, because I've never done it before. I've never stayed awake, actually, longer than... 30 hours or so uh, and I think he was going for 100 hours I'm probably not going to get to 100 but I'll probably um, when I do this in a few weeks time I'll probably get to maybe 50 I don't know we'll see how it goes um, so yeah that's one of the future videos I'll see you in the next one